Remember this portion of the story of God as it is written in the book that we love from 1 Samuel 17. The sword of Goliath. And the Philistines had gathered their troops for battle. And the troops were gathered in Soko, which belongs to Judah. And they made camp between Soko and Azekah in Ephes Damim. And Saul and all the men of Israel were gathered. And they made camp in the valley of Elah. And they set up battle lines to engage the Philistines. And the Philistines were standing on one mountain. And the Israelites were standing on the opposite mountain with a valley between them. And an extraordinary man came out from the troops of the Philistines. Goliath was his name from Gath. His height was six cubits and a span. And a helmet of bronze was on his head. And a coat of mail was wrapped around and him. And the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of bronze. And his greaves of bronze were on his shin. And a javelin of bronze was between his shoulders. And the shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam. And the tip of his spear weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And a shield bearer was walking in front of him. And he stood and called to the lines of Israel. <laughs> and he said to them, Why have you marched out to set up battle lines? Is it not I, the Philistine, and you, the servants of Saul? Choose a man from among you and let him come down to me. If he prevails in a fight with me and strikes me down, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and strike him down, then you will be our servants. You will serve us. And the Philistines said, I challenge the lines of Israel this day. Give me a man and let us fight together. And Saul and all Israel heard the words of the Philistine, and they were distraught. And they, and they were very afraid. Now David was the son of an Ephrathite. This man was from Bethlehem of Judah. And his name was Jesse. <laughs> and he had eight sons. And the man was old in the days of Saul and advanced in years. <laughs> and the three eldest sons of Jesse had walked on. They had walked behind Saul into battle. And the names of the three sons who had walked into battle were Eliab the firstborn, Abinadad the second, and Shammah the third. But David, he was the youngest. And the three eldest had walked behind Saul. But David was walking back and forth from Saul to feed his father's sheep in Bethlehem. And the Philistine came forward morning and evening. And he took his stand forty days. And Jesse said to David, his son, Take to your brothers a measure of this dry roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread, and run to the camp to your brothers. And these ten blocks of cheese you will bring to the commander of the unit. And you will inquire after the well-being of your brothers. And you will take back a sign of their well-being. <laughs> and Saul, they, and all the men of Israel were in the Valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose early in the morning. And he handed the sheep over to the keeper. And he picked up the provisions. And he walked as Jesse had commanded him. And he entered the encampment. And the warriors were going forth to the line. And they were shouting a battle cry. And Israel and the Philistines set up their battle lines to engage each other. And David handed the provisions over to the keeper of the provisions. And he ran to the line. As he arrived. And he asked his brothers about their well-being. And while he was speaking with them, Behold! The Philistine rose up from the lines of the Philistines. Goliath was his name from Gath. He spoke the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him. And they were very afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has arisen? Indeed, he rises to challenge Israel. And so it shall be for the man who strikes him down. The king will enrich him with great riches. And his daughter he will give to and him. And the house of his father he will make exempt from taxes in Israel. <laughs> and David said to the men who were standing with him, what will be done to the man who strikes down this Philistine and removes a challenge from Israel? Indeed, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he challenges the battle lines of the living God? And the people repeated this same word, saying, Thus he will do for the man who strikes him down. And Eliab, his eldest brother, overheard him speaking to the men. And Eliab's anger burned against David. And he said, Why have you come down? 
And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your arrogance and the evil in your heart. Indeed, you have come down to gawk at the battle. And David said, What have I done now? Was it not but a word? And David turned away from him to another group. And he repeated this same word. And the people responded with a word like the first word. And others heard the words which David spoke. And they recounted them before Saul. And he summoned him. And David said to Saul, Well, let no man be downhearted because of him. Your servant will walk out and fight this Philistine. <laughs> and Saul said to David, <laughs> you, you are not able to walk up to this Philistine and to fight with him. You are only a boy. And he was already a man of war when he was a boy. And David said to Saul, your servant was keeping the sheep for his father, and once a, a lion came, once a bear, and he carried away a lamb from the herd. I went out after him, struck him down, and rescued it from his mouth. And he stood up against <coughs> me, and I grabbed him by his mane, and I struck him down, and I killed him. Even a lion, even a bear, your servant has struck down in this the uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them. <laughs> For he has challenged the battle lines of the living God. And David said, The Lord who rescued me from the, the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will rescue me from the paw of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Walk on, and may the Lord be with you. And Saul wrapped David with his armor. And he put a helmet of bronze on his head. And, and he, he wrapped, wrapped him with a coat of mail. And David fastened Saul's sword against his armor. <laughs> and he tried in vain to walk. Indeed. He could not test them out. And David said to Saul, I am not able to walk in these. Indeed, I cannot test them out. And, and David, David removed them. them. And he took his staff in one hand. And he chose five smooth stones from the brook. And he put them in a pocket of his shepherd's bag. And his sling was in his other hand. And he approached the Philistine. <laughs> 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 And the Philistine walked closer and closer to David. And his shield bearer was in front of him. And the Philistine looked, and he saw David. And he despised him, for he was a boy, rosy cheeked and cherubic. And the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? <laughs> and the Philistine cursed David in the name of his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Walk towards me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the heavens and to the beasts of the field. And David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you with the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the battle lines of Israel, whom you have challenged. In this very day, he will place you into my hand, and I will strike you down, and I will cut off your head. <laughs> and I will give the carcasses of the troops of the Philistines to the birds of the heavens and to the wild animals of the earth. And all the earth shall know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saves not with sword or with spear. Indeed, the battle belongs to the Lord. And he will give you into our hands. And it came to be that the Philistine stood up, and he walked forward, and he drew near to engage David. And David rushed forward, and he ran toward the battle line to engage the Philistine. And David reached his hand into his bag, 
And he took a stone from there, and he slung it. <coughs> and he struck the Philistine on his forehead. And the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the ground. And David proved stronger than the Philistine with a mere sling and a stone, and he struck the Philistine down, and he killed him. <laughs> ah! And a sword was not in David's hand, and David ran. And he stood over the Philistine. He took his sword, and he drew it out from its sheath. And he killed him. <laughs> and he cut off his head with it. And they pursued the Philistines as far as Gai and the gates of Ekron. And the wounded Philistines fell along the road to Sharim until Gath and Ekron. And the sons of Israel returned from chasing the Philistines. And they plundered their fallen troops. And David took the head of the Philistine. And he brought it to Jerusalem. Put his weapons in his own tent. <laughs> <laughs> 